Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. The 9 Aqua Bluetooth speaker is waterproof, but that alone isn't all that unusual. There are plenty of waterproof Bluetooth speakers out there. The fact that it floats, on the other hand, is a little weirder. So let's check it out. You'll get a peek at the speaker without even taking it out of the box. Once you do have it out, everything else is packed together in a single box underneath. You'll find a USB charging cable and 3.5 millimeter audio cable strapped together, a carrying strap, user guides in a few different languages, and finally the warranty. The 9 Aqua comes in two different color schemes, blue and gray and blue and white. Both look fairly nice, though it's likely that the white model will show dirt and scuffs easier, so that's worth keeping in mind if you're going to be taking the Aqua to the beach frequently. Either way, the colors aren't the most interesting thing about this speaker. You might have noticed the slightly odd shape of the speaker, somewhat like a pontoon boat, and there's a reason for that. It floats. Better yet, it's IPX7 certified waterproof and submersible to three feet. It isn't too clear why anyone would actually want to submerge a speaker, but it's nice to know that you can. For those of us who prefer to keep our speakers on dry land, if not exactly dry, Nine has included a hanging strap, perfect for hanging the speaker in the shower. Bluetooth connectivity is simple, if not cutting edge. Pairing is fairly easy. Turn the speaker on, hold down the multifunction button for a few seconds, and it will enter pairing mode. Then just pair from the device of your choice. The Aqua uses Bluetooth 3.0, and that can affect sound quality, which we'll get to in a minute, but it doesn't keep it from including speakerphone functionality. Now you can finally make and take calls while in the shower, assuming that's something you've ever wanted to do. The 9 Aqua has its fair share of buttons, which makes controlling it while keeping your phone safe and dry fairly easy. Starting from the top, you'll find the volume buttons, the EQ button, a multifunction button that provides functionality to pause and resume playback, as well as answer and end calls, and finally the power button. 9 states battery life at up to 10 hours of playback time, which seems reasonable given the 2200 milliamp hour battery. In our testing, we got closer to 8.5 hours, but our testing process usually results in shorter than advertised battery life. Charge time was fairly quick when charging from a USB wall charger at around 2 hours. The 9 Aqua includes 3 EQ presets that allow you to switch through a total of 4 settings, flat, rock, pop, and jazz. The vast majority of our testing was done with the EQ set to the flat setting. The low end sounds like you're listening to a much smaller speaker. This isn't a surprise, the sound in waterproof speakers often suffers because they have to be so well sealed. The low mids get a strong boost in an attempt to make up for the lacking low end, and this has mixed results but works well enough. The high mids just sound weird. This is especially true when using any of the EQ presets which add a strange synthesizer-like overtone to the music. The highs range from slightly harsh on the flat EQ setting to very harsh on any of the other EQ settings. Details are quite well hidden too, no matter what the setting. On the plus side, the Aqua is pretty well suited to the spoken word. It's hard to imagine a group of beachside partygoers cranking up an audiobook, but this could be useful if you enjoy listening to a podcast during your morning shower. No, the Aqua doesn't sound great, but whether or not that's an instant disqualification is up to you. Ultimately, it comes down to what matters to you most. If water resistance is the most important thing, then this might be worth a look. Otherwise, there are better options out there. Still, we're giving the 9 Aqua a 7 out of 10. And that's it for this one, everybody. For all the details, check out the full review over at soundguys.com. A link is down in the description. Like the video, let us know, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Chris Wook. Thanks for watching.